Hey, welcome to QuickBooks Made Easy's Quick Tips. Uh, this is a tip for March 2018. I am Greg Bossen. How's it going? I'm in the middle of tax season, so I don't have a whole lot of time. But we're going to do something that I get a lot of questions about, which is not numbers related, which is kind of nice. Uh, and it has to do with the sales forms in QuickBooks. If you are somebody that either does invoicing or uses a sales receipt in QuickBooks or maybe one of the other forms, you know, when you look at these forms, I'm going to look at a sales receipt. If you print these things out, and give them, either mail them or email them, you know, you have a stake in what they look like. So when we when I take a look at this one here, eh, doesn't look that great. And there's all kinds of things you can do to change it, but what we're gonna do in this particular topic is focus on adding your logo to it, okay? So this is actually fairly easy. Uh, gotta understand something here first. When you get QuickBooks and you go to these sales forms, either an invoice or a sales receipt is the two we're going to talk about here, there's all these different templates, and each template looks a little different, okay? And when you add your logo, you are basically customizing one of the templates and adding your logo to it. So in case you're wondering, yep, you can have more than one template, and you could add different logos to different templates. If you needed to but anyway so in order to add a logo what we want to do is we first want to select the template that we want to add a logo to so it's whichever whichever is the one that you normally use so you want to look up here and see most people have a custom sales receipt so we'll pick that one and then I'm going to go up here to the formatting tab and I'm going to click this customize data layout. And this is where actually you do all kinds of customization. You can take away columns and add text and, and, and pretty it up and change the fonts and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but the thing I want to focus on is the logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the layout designer button here. And then I'm going to go up to the add. And you can add a text box a data field, these are fields within your QuickBooks, or an image. So I'm going to click image. And then of course you're, you're going to want to find where your image is. So you'll need to have your image somewhere on your computer. You might be calling somebody's daughter who created the image years ago and asking them to send it to you so you can get it on your computer. But uh, I put mine on the desktop. Here it is right here. And it'll take all kinds of images, JPEG, uh, PNG, anything, GIF. And what it's doing now is it's actually creating a copy of the image and it's putting the image in a folder that's accessible by QuickBooks. Great. So here's the image. And then you can click and drag this thing and drop it wherever you need it. I can make it bigger if I want to. Of course, if I want to, I can move all of these other boxes and put it up at the top if I want to do that. It's just up to you. Let me just show you. Click. You can drag and move this box and then take this and move it up there. I mean, you can go crazy. I'm going to go ahead and just leave mine down here. But just want to show you, you can move all of these boxes around to get it like you like it. You can also make it bigger if you want to. So I'll make it this big here. And, you know, while I'm here, let me, I'm going to use the arrows to kind of move it up a little bit. You know, I think I do want it at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all five of these boxes. I'm going to click this one. And then I'm going to click on the shift key. And what that does is it basically allows me to click multiple boxes at the same time. I got my finger held on the shift key. Then I'll unclick and then on the shift key. And then I can move all of these boxes at the same time. And I'll move them, maybe I'll move them down here. And then I'll take the box, let me move it down a little bit lower. And then I'll take this, put it up here at the top. Because like you, I think it should be at the top. And then I can put my finger on the shift key again. And while I've got my finger on the shift key, hold all these boxes. And then I can kind of move it back up. And there you go, we got something like that. So I'll click OK. And now I got my little logo. So we'll just preview this, and you can see what it looks like. Pretty cool. No big deal. But that's how you add a logo. Now, I want you to understand that that logo will not be 
on any of these others okay you go to print any of these other templates the logo won't be there you'll need to go ahead and add those all right so and then the last thing just in case you're needing to really really see it and you're like I don't do sales receipts I do invoices the same thing's gonna work in invoices you go over to formatting you click customize data layout you click the layout designer you click add image and there's your logo and we click it and then you move it where you want it to be all right no big deal on that that was a pretty simple topic if you need more information about quickbooks uh, let me get out of all of this I am, I am stuck there we go if you need more information about quickbooks simply go to quickbooksmadeeasy.com it can help you out you can also sign up for the email newsletter the little quick ticks e-newsletter so you get these little youtube videos sent to you once a month have a great day.